This is Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is December 17th, 2023. Today I wanted to do a reading on Nikki Haley uh, with my guides and just see what her prospects are for the 2024 presidential uh, election. I'm using the Ciro Marchetti Gilded Tarot from the Easy Tarot Kit for the reading and we are having an oracle card from Healing with the Angels by Doreen Virtue. So the card that I got to represent Nikki Haley were the same cards I get uh, with the other Republican candidates. I honestly thought I would get the Queen of Wands or something like that. But no, the Devil and the Magician. So what does this mean? Just to remind people, um, this is somebody who is uh, putting forth a false persona and really they're not their own um, master or mistress or whatever they're they're being controlled by a more powerful insidious force here uh, the devil so in most cases it's been this card's represented Trump or Putin and I think in some respects Trump yes because Nikki Haley has a very cordial relationship with Trump, has been an ardent admirer and supporter of Trump and has you know, worked for Trump. But uh, in this case, this is, uh, represents another uh, dark force. And we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but basically, the guys are saying Nikki Haley is putting forth a false persona. She is not who she presents herself to be above... This is a re reiteration of those cards in the sense that she is a plant, a spy, and there's been a lot of money put behind her so she can be uh, placed in a position of power so she can do somebody else's bidding. And there's a lot, a lot, a lot of money uh, backing her behind this. In the past, Three of Pentacles, and this is the deal that's been cut. And the... the uh, entity or entities that are the dark money behind her the guides say are the Koch brothers and they're uh, uh, the, the ones who have allegiances with them, their buddies the, the people who are their allies and <laughs> interestingly enough uh, today, this, this morning I was googling Haley and the Koch brothers because I was curious about the information my guides gave me regarding their relationship and surely enough at the end of November, I think November 28th they announced that they were going to put their support behind Nikki Haley. That was their candidate. So why am I saying that Nikki Haley has a false persona and this goes along with why did the Koch brothers choose Nikki Haley is because I think of all of them, all of these candidates running for uh, the, the uh, presidential uh, candidacy for 2024, um, she has the most uh, reasonable and rational veneer compared to the others like Vivek Ramaswamy and uh, you know Robert Kennedy, although he's run he's running as an independent, but you know whoever she's running against, uh, Trump obviously, um, they think that like Republican women and even independent women and some conservative uh, Democratic women will connect with. 
Nikki Haley because she's a, a woman and she seems to be sympathetic to women and she has the least <laughs> uh, extreme policies towards uh, abortions and choice. Although if you really look at her record, uh, not, not much by, by comparison. So they're, the Koch brothers are very cynical, of course, and they're aware that by comparison, Nikki Haley looks like the grown up in the room. And that, that is why they've chosen her. But, of course, again, they've chosen her because she's going to do their bidding. She's owned by them. And she's in the control of, of them. And that's who they want. That's why they put Trump in power, or, or were some of the people who did besides Putin and um, other other uh uh, supporters. The Koch brothers have dumped Trump. They don't like Trump anymore. He's created a lot of chaos for them. And uh, he didn't win the second election. And so to them, Nikki Haley looks like a good choice. But she has been recruited because of her persona, not because of uh, uh, the fact that she really is, uh, you know, what she's trying to appear to be, which is a reasonable, even not liberal, but a little bit progressive, or at least not that uh, right-wing ultra-fascist. But she, she uh, in essence, is just going to, uh, as uh, they hope anyway, which is really she doesn't have a choice when, when you're owned by somebody, you're owned by somebody. You need the money, you need the money to fundraise, you need the money to, um, uh, you know, exist in politics. She, she is going to be controlled by them. And I think she's acquiescent in that, that she accepts that, that and, and she's glad of it because she's got these powerful endorsers. But the guides say that in the future, Uh, just like the other candidates, they're just going to be fighting it out and they're going to bring everybody to the lowest denominator. And instead of Nikki Haley or Chris Christie or Trump or whatever, like emerging uh, as, as a powerful uh, candidate, they're all just going to be attacking each other here, just trying to bring each other down. It's just going to be a whole melee, a whole uh, like... Uh, fight, uh, uh, like a school room lunch, uh, uh, no, a school lunchroom fight, <laughs> you know, throwing food at each other, that kind of thing. And she gets dragged down with them. And, and also, you know, the GOP is in chaos and they're losing money and it, it, it's just not a, a good party to belong to because it, it's been, Trump literally has killed this party and she's just going to be dragged down with it according to the cards, and then the clarification card is the Ten of Pentacles, and this is just all this dark money that's being thrown her way, so they can get her in the uh, running. But in the end, the outcome card is the Five of Cups, so uh, she is not going to fulfill her dream of uh, becoming the next President of the United States. It's not going to happen for her. Great disappointment for her ahead. Okay, that's my reading of Nikki Haley. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. I am going to now read our oracle card chosen by the guides. And this card, oh, let me show you the back of these cards first. I just love them. So beautiful. But the card here is trust. <laughs> Sorry about this. I, sh I, I usually stick it in where the... I mark the page, but I found it. <laughs> trust. Card meaning. Believe in yourself and have faith that Divine Spirit and the angels are with you. Ask them to help you lose the fears that block you from enjoying full faith. Your angels know that you've been disappointed in the past. These experiences may have eroded your faith in yourself, other people, even divine uh, spirit. 
However, the angels remind you of the importance of holding on to your faith. By drawing this card, the angels emphasize the value of self-trust. They know that you, like everyone, have made mistakes in the past. However, these mistakes have not eroded your true nature. You still have omnipresent spirit within you, and divine spirit is infallible. The angels ask you to trust in the divine spirit and to trust in them. They will help you trust yourself. Trust. Okay, you guys. Uh, this is the point where I remind you I'm still available for personal readings, uh, past, present, future, in this life, um, anything in past lives in the Akashic Records. I love to introduce you to your guardian angels, and I am a medium. My information is below in the description box and at the end of the musical interlude, which is coming up. Please stick around for that. So everybody, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, happy Kwanzaa, happy Solstice. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. I'll be back next week.